Hey, it's your ASMR friend, just checking in on you. I hope you're doing well. Today, we're going to play a little Grand Theft Auto Vice City, the definitive edition, available on the Nintendo Switch. So yes, I am playing on the Nintendo Switch version. I bought this one because I figured I like the idea of being able to play this portable. It is such a trip to have this game again in 2021. Even though there's been other versions available And even though, of course, it looks much better on the PlayStation, I feel like having it on the Switch is just a cool, cool way to have it. Because I can kind of jump in and out. Yeah, I sunk many hours, especially in the first two of these Grand Theft Autos in the trilogy, that being Grand Theft Auto 3 and Grand Theft Auto Vice City. Oh, you jerk. <laughs> All right, then. Um... Yeah, it's, uh, bring back happy memories. My favorite part growing up playing these was going to a friend's house or having friends come over. And what we would do is we would just go batshit crazy, try to cause as much carnage and chaos as possible and then see how long we could run from the cops. <laughs> Whoops. I mean, I'm talking, there were times it was like every day after school. That was just so much fun. And so it begins. It's kind of a funny thing with the, these games. It lets you be just a psychopath and it's okay. Because that's kind of what they're meant for. But yeah, going back. Like, when the controls, the shooting was kind of coming back. And I remember oh, that the cars handling, who they handle so much different than they do nowadays in these Grand Theft Auto 5s. You know, every version of Grand Theft Auto V. And, oh my god, yeah. They put the spikes in this one. God, I hate the spikes. I hate the spikes. Now, I don't remember. I could have maybe looked it up before I did this, but... I don't remember if Halo 2 came before this. Or if this game came before Halo 2. One of the two was my first midnight release. Whichever came first. But 
I remember them equally. Grand Theft Auto Vice City Midnight was so much fun. I was still in high school and I was not old enough for the age restriction yet. So my mom had to go with me to GameStop. <laughs> and uh, it was a school night. Can I get in this car? And yeah, we went. And luckily, where I went, the line actually wasn't too long. And I want to say I was within the first, like, 10 or 15 people. And I remember I saw one of my friends there as well. He was also in the same situation where he was under the age, so he had his mom with him as well <laughs> and oh my gosh I I honestly kind of miss midnight releases oh get out of this car oh, how am I still alive now I'm dead He's running away. Oh. I'm at three stars. Okay. I think it's time to go. Oh, they already shot out. I think maybe I shot it out, right? Did someone steal their cop car? Where is that? Oh, the vice. Miami vice. They're gonna rip me apart. Here we go, here we go. Come on, come on. Oh. Oh, I didn't. Oh, wow. Okay, well, I'm gonna steal their car. Come on, come on, come on. Go, go, go. 15 health. The Cheetah was always an awesome car. I think maybe, oh, come on. What I don't like is how much that screws you up. Those tires getting shot out, poked out. Okay. I say we go to the mall. I don't have as much money as I thought I did. Wow, Miss Amy. I thought they said we were getting better aiming. Oh, you know what it is. You know what it is. Yeah, there we go. Okay. I think that's what's messing me up right now. Oh, yeah. Okay. There we go. I don't want to personally attack anyone, but Vice City came out in 2003, and it's set in 1986, it would be the equivalent, if it came out today, Vice City would be set in 2004. I know. I know. It's not fair. I know. Oh, why is this one locked? No. There we go. Oh my. What? No. Don't try this at home. 
Don't do it. Okay, here's another thing. Here's another thing. I don't know why. But I loved doing taxi driver missions. 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 And also, I remember wanting to do them in a slow time. Like, can I do it while following you know, the traffic laws. <laughs> Probably because I was a teenager. And so... This was the... Kind of the way to drive before I could drive, you know? Wait a minute. Oh, okay. Wow, that is a far jump. I'm not going to risk it right now. But yeah, and I'm going to ask you guys a lot for Was there anything weird that you liked to do in Grand Theft Auto? Like, I liked driving the speed limit, obeying the traffic lines here and there. Like, sometimes I would just like to go for a drive like that in Grand Theft Auto. You know? That was what the beauty of a sandbox game is. It's being able to play it the way you want. Interesting, I got a speed bonus even though I had to turn around and do all that. And I mean, you get some fairly decent money if you do this kind of early on. Yeah, it's really, it's fun, like, Grand Theft Auto V is, Los Santos is a very lived-in world, and, you know, now comparing it to today, it's like, there's not a lot of people walking these streets when you drive by, but there's still a pretty decent amount of traffic, though. But man, the nostalgia has hit me hard. Like, I'm just really enjoying this experience. I'm curious to know, anyone watching, do you also have the Switch version? Or did you go for the PlayStation? Do you not have it at all? And you just enjoy my voice? Because, boy, howdy. That would be swell to hear. I don't... <laughs> I don't know what words I'm putting together. Okay. Boy, howdy. That would be swell. Who? No one talks like that. But yeah, the, uh... I mean, the Switch. I'm playing it on the big screen. For you guys. Because I love you. <laughs> what I didn't really think about was how tiny the Switch light screen is. And uh, so my first like two hours, hour or whatever, playing it, like, my eyes were feeling it. I felt like I'm just like squinting everywhere. And I should have known, because I also have, oh, the um, island is locked. But yeah, I should have known because I had Saints Row the third and four on the Switch. And I had that same experience where it's very tiny. It's a big world on a tiny screen, so it makes things kind of hard to to see. And uh, 
I, you know, not bad for the Switch, right? I mean, I always love buildings like that when you drive by them like that. Okay. Oh. What? What? What am I stuck on? <laughs> right. Oh, he's going to the hospital. She. Okay, well, you know. It's hard to keep track sometimes. The cool thing about doing taxi missions is that you also get to learn the map a little bit more. And, man, back in the day, that's the other thing too. I think what took me out of San Andreas was like, I never really fully got the map layout of that, or just never felt like I knew where everything is. Back in the day, I knew these maps like the back of my hand, especially Grand Theft Auto 3, because it was smaller, and I don't know. I don't know which one I played more. I had to have played Vice City more. I don't know. Six in one hand, half a dozen in the other. I played a shitload of Grand Theft Auto back in the day. But I remember that, like... Grand Theft Auto 3 especially, though. I just never... After a while, I didn't need that many. Interesting. Another person going to the mall. Oh. Who needs crazy taxi when you got Grand Theft Auto? All right. Well, you cut me off, sir. Okay, don't arrest me. How are you still alive? There we go. Alright, well. That's all for now. Be sure to like and subscribe, and I'll catch you later.